Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to a new tutorial on this channel. Today it is about principle and we have this beautiful redesigned or recreated uh, Instagram user interface which I downloaded on Trouble. The download link is below in the video description so you can also download it right now, pause the video and get back to it. You know, you see that the file is kind of messed up and I guess this is somehow like a real life situation. You get a file from a other designer, from a developer or from anybody else and it's just a huge mess. So you, for example, you have these text layers which aren't really correct because you don't have the font. So you have to change it to your own font. And then you have this layer panel and there are so many folders and everything is really messed up so you don't really know how to actually get out of this mess. And what we're going to do right now in this video tutorial is to animate this top part which is like really an essential part of the stories which is an Instagram feature. And we are going to animate this in principle. It's like really easy but it's so basic that I really want to show it to you on how to use the feature and on how to make it work that we can just scroll through these uh, people right here. And the first thing that we need to do of course is to get like an order into this messed up layer panel. So what we are going to need are these photos right here, basically this whole part. And I guess somehow it's all across this layer panel our layers that we are going to need, that we are going to grab. So try to find like the first layer at the bottom which we are going to select and this is the Instagram logo and this is the logo of the grandpa so we are going to select it. So now I think these are the layers right here. I'm going to group them up and call them avatars. So, and I'm dragging them to the top of the layer panel so we can actually work with it. But you see that right here we still have some layers which weren't in this area that we already selected and grouped up. So we need to select them as well and place them into our group. As well as this right here which is the live feature. So right there we have it. and. If you select your avatars group, you see that we have somehow probably one of the layers right here because you see that the group is really large. So yeah, we have the text right here, the description of the photo, just move it out of your group and we should actually be fine. Now to make it scrollable, of course what I'm going to do is to copy it because we only have this one photo and if we animate it right now we couldn't really scroll a lot and of course this is what we're going to do. So open up your group again. I'm going to make a subgroup, call this one, copy it and this is the second group. So, so you see we have a copy, we can grab it and drag it all over to the right side until we have this red line, this alignment feature. So we have this huge avatar bar right here and we are not really seeing half of them but that's just fine. We are going to group up the rest so we have some order right there, call it rest or call it whatever you like, save it up and now let's head in to our principal app and we are going to import it, hit import, it's pre-selected, hit the import button and Boom, you see right now, right here, we have the photos. And of course, we need to do some alignment here because it looks kind of weird. Just some more spacing. And this is the bar which are we going to animate. So I said we want to make it scrollable. So we have it also on the right side. Right now, you can't do nothing with it. So what we are going to do today is to select the avatars folder and we are going to to select the horizontal menu the drop down and we are selecting scroll now if you select 
Drag, for example, maybe you think this is the drag feature, but it isn't. If you use drag, you can't really have a fluid, smooth scroll. It just drags the bar to yeah, basically any position. And you also see that we have to do something here because we can right now just uh, move it completely out of our viewpoint. So this is really easy. Let's get rid of this viewpoint um, bug. You have to select the avatar group and you need to arrange the boundaries to the screen boundaries. So simply grab them and zoom in a bit, move them to the inner part of the screen. So right now, um, once we've done this, I think because of the track feature, we are still able to somehow move it out of our way. But if I go and select scroll, you will see that we have a really smooth feature. And on this uh, other part, on this outside right here, you see that we can scroll out of our view. So this is kind of unique, this is kind of cool. Uh, to make it perfect, you see that we have some problems with the spacing right here. Of course, there should be some padding. One of the ways you could do this is to just make the box a little bit smaller. So when we scroll through right now, you see we have these uh, paddings also on the right side, not just on the left side. And it's just a really easy way to animate such a scroll bar. I think this is probably it for today. In the next video we are maybe going to animate the rest of the app, like maybe find a new way to animate how something, how opening such a photo uh, like reacts or what happens there. What about scrolling through your timeline in general and maybe also like an effect that pops up when clicking the heart button. And I can also recommend you hitting the thumb up button on this video if you enjoyed it. I want to thank you for your time. If you aren't a supporter of my Patreon page yet, then you can just head over to the link. It's in the video description. You can buy me a beer or two if you like these videos and freebies and if you just want to say thanks. And yeah, check out the links. The links to download these files are also in the video description. Guys, thank you for your time. We see us in the next video on Wednesday. Bye.